All right, hi everyone. Uh, wearing my uh, staff versus a student t-shirt today. Hope you're going to be at the game tonight. Let's talk about the relationship between uh, state and national governments. This is podcast two for unit six. This is federalism. Very short podcast today. All right, so federalism, uh, the Constitution establishes that the, we have a federal form of government. Powers are divided between a state, national, and local, which we'll talk about in our next unit. Uh, but the national government is supreme. That's by the Supremacy Clause, which is Article 6, Section 2 of the Constitution. Any powers not given to the federal government are reserved for the state governments. That's the Tenth Amendment. So things like, you know, we talk about licensing, marriage licenses, driver's licenses. Those are all powers given to the state. And there are certain things that are denied to both the federal and the state governments, things they can't do to you as a citizen. A lot of those are listed in the Bill of Rights. They, your house can't be searched without a warrant. Um, you have to be read rights when you're arrested, things like that. Some of the responsibilities. Uh, the national government conducts foreign policy, uh, regulates commerce, commerce is trade, provides for the common defense. We don't, we have a military, we have a national military. Uh, state governments uh, promote public health, safety, and welfare, making sure everybody is, is doing well. And then the framers of the Constitution, uh, they chose this form of government because they wanted to limit powers. They did not remember we were coming from England, king, all-powerful. Uh, they wanted to limit that. Uh, they, did, they didn't want the government to be all-powerful. So uh, they placed limits on government. All right, well, that's it. I said under two minutes today. Um, and we'll expand more in class. Any questions, let me know. It's Friday. Hope you enjoy class today. And then have a good weekend, and hopefully we don't get a lot of snow because we can't miss any more days. Thanks, guys. Oh, and happy birthday to you, my mother, February 7th. Love you, Mom. Bye.